Hello everyone, this is Lata Akula. In this video, we are going to start the meiosis 1. Already in the last video, we have completed, the, we have studied that meiosis, it has a, a two sequential cycle. One is the meiosis 1 and another one is the meiosis 2. So in this video, we are going to study about what is the meiosis 1. So before entering into the meiosis 1, the cell is in interface. So in the interface, what will happen? The cell will complete G1, S and G2 phase. In this interface only, the cell mm, DNA replication also completes. In the last video, what we have studied, of course, it is having two sequential cycles. Only one cycle of DNA replication occurs, right? Here, that uh, DNA replication occurs in this interface only. In the next coming meiosis 2, there is no DNA replication occurs. So after completing the interface, the cell enter into meiosis 1 in that the first one is the prophase 1. So what is the first stage? Prophase 1. If you see in the mitosis also we have prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, right? But that prophase is different from the prophase 1 of the meiosis 1 because it is a more elaborate, longest phase. This prophase 1 is the longest phase. It consists of 5 substages. How many substages are present? 5 substages are present. See here, this is the interface cycle, cell. The cell is in interface. How the genetic material? The genetic material is in the form of coil thread like structure. So, this coil thread like structure, what will happen when it enters into the prophase 1? The first stage is leptotene. So what we have studied in the prophase 1, there are 5 substages are present. What are the 5 substages? Leptotene, zygotene, pachytene, diplotene and diakinesis. These are the 5 substages present in the prophase 1. So what will happen in the leptotene? In the leptotene, this is the first stage in the prophase 1. What will happen? This coiled threadless structure, they start condensation. The condensation of the chromosomes occurs. Here, what will happen? The condensation and the coiling of chromatin material occurs and finally they form distinct chromosomes. Here, we have not seen any chromosomes here. It is, it is simply like a threadless structure. But in the leptogene, that, that they will coil and condense and form distinct chromosomal structure. So, leptotene, what we will see? Chromosomes. Right. Next here, meiosis occurs in what type of cells? Diploid cells only. So, in the diploid state, what is the next stage? After leptotene, the next coming stage is the zygotene. Here, the second stage in the prophase 1 is zygotene. If we see in diploid cells, there are two sets of chromosomes are present. How many? Two sets of chromosomes. This is one set and this is another set. This is one, this is one. So, totally four chromosomes are present. In those four chromosomes, the identical chromosomes are the homologous chromosomes which have same size, structure and form. Those homologous chromosomes are nothing but the chromosomes which are similar in their size, structure they are called as homologous chromosomes. In that homologous chromosomes, one chromosome is coming from the pet father that they are called as paternal chromosome and another chromosome that is coming from the mother, that chromosome is called as maternal chromosomes. These two chromosomes, paternal chromosomes and maternal chromosomes, they, come, they came side by side like this. This is called as pairing of chromosomes. So, these homologous chromosomes, they start sparing in the zygotene stage. What will happen in the zygotene stage? The homologous chromosomes means the chromosomes which have the similar size structure are called as homologous chromosomes. Those chromosomes, they come side by side. See here, the chromosomes are side by side, right? So, they, they, this is called as pairing of chromosomes. Here, the, they start pairing and this pairing of chromosomes is called synapses. What is the word we, we are using here? Synapses means pairing of homologous chromosomes. And next, what will happen? 
because of this synapses there is a complex created see here these are the two chromosomes these homologous chromosomes they came side by side and because of this synapses there is a complex created that complex is called as a bivalent or dyad bivalent or dyad and here this bivalent this homologous chromosomes what they have to do they have to in between these two crossing over will occur during crossing over they need not to be separated to stabilize that crossing over to, to stabilize that bivalent nature there is a complex is created between these two paired chromosome that complex is called as synatonymal complex see between these two chromosomes there is a complex is created which was joining the two chromosomes together that is called as synaptonemal complex that synaptonemal complex it is a proteinaceous network like structure that will stabilize these homologous chromosomes until the crossing over is completed so up to the crossing over this is synaptonemal complex will join these two homologous chromosomes together so what is meant by crossing over here these two homologous chromosomes they exchange the genetic material that may be recombination of the genetic material is takes place so that means they will share the genetic material with one another that is called as crossing over so until the crossing over completed this homologous chromosome they need to be side by side so that is stabilized by a complex called as synaptonemal complex so this is about zygotin so in the leptodin what 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 we have seen distinct chromosome structures are formed from the chromatin material in the zygotin what will be happen the homologous chromosomes they start pairing and uh, the pairing of the chromosomes is called as synapses and here because of this synapses there is a complex is created which is called as bivalent or dyad and here between these two chromosomes there is crossing wave over will occur to stabilize that synapses uh, that bivalent nature there is a complex is created between these two homologous chromosomes that complex is called as synaptonemal complex that synaptonemal complex that stabilizes the two chromosomes until the crossing over is complete right this is about zygotin the next one is pachytin so in the zygotin stage the homologous chromosomes they pair they start pairing and they form the dyad a complex is created right that is called dyad in the pachytin stage what will happen is these homologous chromosomes they start splitting vertically because of this vertical splitting that generates two chromatids in each chromosome here there is one chromatid is present right but in here after splitting the chromosomes the homologous chromosomes that generates two chromatids then each chromatid it is having two two chromatids now it is called as tetrad this is dyad right now it is called as tetrad that means it is each chromatid is having two uh, each chromosome is having two chromatids two homologous uh, chromosomes that generate four chromatid structure that is called as tetrad and here we see uh, each chromosome that consists of two chromatids right those two chromatids are called as sister chromatids thus two these two chromo uh, chromatids are called as sister chromatids whereas the chromatids of another chromosome a homologous chromosome is called as non sister chromatids here these two are called as sister chromatids and these two are called as non sister chromatids okay here the crossing over occurs only between the non sister chromatids only between the non sister chromatids only crossing over occurs the crossing over will not take place between the sister chromatids here exchange of genetic material between the non sister chromatids of the homologous chromosome that lead that, that is called as crossing over that crossing over finally leads to the recombination because of that crossing over what will happen there is a recombination for example this is a one chromatid and this is another chromatid between the, sorry this is one chromatid and this is another chromatid between these two 
recombination occurs what will happen there is exchange of genetic material between these two chromosomes occur that means the genetic material or dna from these chromosomes will enter into this place and the genetic material from this chromatid will enter into this this is called as recombination and this recombination it is done by an enzyme called as recombinase what is an enzyme that involved in the recombination process recombinase enzyme that is involved in the recombination process and here in, in this recombination what will happen there is a breakage of the chromatids and again attachment of the chromatid it occurs by the enzyme recombinase and at the end of the packaging the recombination will be completed by, by the end of the packaging stage recombination process completes the next the cell enters into the from the packaging the cell enters into the diploidin stage in that diploidin stage what will happen the nuclear material starts disintegrating and here and also the centrioles moving to the opposite poles and here in this diploidin stage the crossing over will complete complete crossing overs uh, crossing over will be totally completed in the diploidin stage what will happen the homologous chromosomes begins to separate because recombination is over there is uh, no necessity of the pairing of the homologous chromosomes they need to be separated right so that separation of the that the homologous chromosomes takes place in the diploidin stage here uh, we have studied that in the zygotic stage what we have studied between the two chromosomes to stabilize that uh, uh, diet stage there is a complex is created between the two uh, homologous chromosomes until crossing over that is called a synaptonemal complex right that synaptonemal complex starts dissolving in this diploidin stage the synaptonemal complex dissolves what will happen two chromosomes starts separating and here if the synaptonemal complex dissolves the homologous chromosomes separate the separation of the homologous chromosomes is called as disjunction disjunction and here in this uh, diploidin stage only during the separation of the homologous chromosomes this is uh, uh, like this they were attached right during the separation of the uh, homologous chromosomes there is an x shaped structure is created in the diploidin stage that is called as chiasmata so chiasmata is visible in which stage diploidin stage so during the separation of homologous chromosomes there is an x shaped structure is created between the chromatids of the homologous chromosomes that is called as chiasmata and next the cell enters into the diagenesis so the diagenesis is the last stage in the prophase 1 it is a transition to the metaphase 1 so from this stage onwards the next stage will appear that is diagenesis what will happen here complete here the complete disintegration of the nuclei is there any nuclear membrane no there is no nuclear plus also the complete disintegration of the nuclear membrane and nucleolus occurs here and at the same time the centrioles move to the opposite ends the centrioles moves to the opposite ends and from the centrioles asters begins aster formation takes place and from the asters spindle fibers generated these spindle fibers attach it to the chromatids of uh, homologous uh, this spindle fibers attaches to the homologous chromosomes to separate them okay like this the the process one is completed next the cell enters into the metaphase one so until then what we have studied in the zygote in the leptotin stage chromosomes appear from the chromatid chromosomes appear and in the zygotin what we have studied there is a synapse suckers that is uh, there is a um, bi bivalent structures are created right and in the packaging stage what will happen tetrads are created and recombination process occurs that is crossing over of the genetic material takes place between the non sister chromatids of the homologous chromosomes takes place and during the diploidin stage what will happen synaptonemal complex it dissolves and separation of the two non sister chromatids of the homologous chromosomes takes place which we call it as a disjunction and finally in the diagenesis 
process what will happen total nuclear membrane and nucleolus disappears and spindle fibers generates and which will attach it to the homologous chromosomes so with this the prophase 1 is over next one is metaphase 1